Sweet sound of the steel pan tell you that it's time for Business Globe, our usual segment at this time on a Monday. And in the Business Globe this evening, we are looking at internet entrepreneurship. How do you make money? By clicking, staying at home and being smart to what is offered on the World Wide Web. Now, it's believed that half of the world's 25 million millionaires generated their wealth primarily through the internet. Cliff, it's too late for you to change <laughs> tack. But are Jamaicans aware of the possibilities that are present in a context where additional income is needed for most people to meet their basic needs? Proper use of the internet can provide that additional revenue. So, how can one unlock the income opportunities of the internet? For advice? Returning to entrepreneur Alicia Little. Good evening, Ms. Little. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me, guys. All right. So tell me now, what's the, the way to unlock the income opportunity of the internet? Yeah, absolutely. And there are a lot of different ways to unlock the income opportunities on the internet. And, you know, mainly what we teach people, and that's my sister and I, um, is just really focusing on turning your passions into profits and I'll just give a quick example you guys both have such great voices that you could go on a site called elance.com that's e l a n c e.com uh -huh. and people on that site are always looking for people to do different type of types of jobs for them but there's a big market for people to do voiceover work so people without the great voices that you guys have will ask someone to read a script for them and do a voiceover work, whether it's for a commercial or for um, a PowerPoint presentation. But there's a lot of people always putting um, work orders out there for someone to do voiceover work. So just doing something on the side. Give us the site again. Yep, it's called elance.com, E-L-A-N-C-E.com. Uh -huh. Yes. And that's really a great place to get started. So people that have um, some talents and some extra time, you can go on that website, put your profile on there, and bid yes. on certain jobs that people are looking for. So um, I'm mm -hmm. always looking for people to do work for me. In fact, we have spent over hmm, about over 90000 U.S. dollars in the past five or six years just hiring freelancers on that site to do work for us uh -huh. in our company. So it's a, it's a really great place where people can go and... Um, make some extra money and another example of a site like that that we have some of our students in jamaica that are making some money on is a site called fiverr.com and that's f-i-v-e-r-r.com so there's two r's at the end f-i-v-e-r-r.com yes. uh -huh. and it's jobs that people will do for just five dollars so um, for example, there's a lady in Jamaica that is registered on that site, and she says that if you pay her $5, she'll tell you some of the hottest places to stay in Jamaica. So if someone is looking for that type of information, they pay her $5, get her special report, and it's just a quick turnaround um, of money. We also have a guy in Jamaica who tells people that he'll take a picture of himself in front of the ocean holding up a sign that says, Happy Birthday and it has your loved one's name on it. So you can buy this photo of him, which he then just emails to you for $5. And so we just have some people doing some really creative Isn't stuff. that amazing? Yeah, <clears throat> really creative stuff to make a little bit of extra income um, on the Internet. So if there's just so much out there for us. The problem is, is that, you know, unless we know about it, we really can't take advantage of it. So, you know, my sister and I are just really trying to spread the message as much as possible that the opportunities are out there and if you can kind of hone in on what some of your passions are and what you could do that would be um, fun and profitable for you, then you really mm -hmm. could make a, uh, an income on the Internet. So we have a woman in Jamaica as well who loves to write and edit. So she's on Elance doing jobs as an editor. So she puts her um, business out there as a, as a proofreader and an editor, and she bids on jobs that people... Um, put up to get different ebooks and reports and PowerPoint presentations edited. Oh, wow. So, Alicia, the, 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 the issue of internet uh, penetration then, looking at some figures, Jamaica's at 35%, a tick above what the rest of the world is. The United States is 77%. That's, that's huge. How, how much of a handicap is that for us here at only 35% penetration? Well, you know, even though, and we're talking about when we say penetration, the percentage of the population that's on the internet, right? Right. Jamaica is growing extremely fast as the percentage of people on the internet. But the one thing about Jamaica 
is the smartphone. And a lot of Jamaicans have a smartphone and are now accessing the Internet on their phone. So while they might not be accessing it through computers and laptops, you know, more and more Jamaicans, especially the younger generation, are accessing it on their phone. And I've seen, you know, BlackBerry now uh, with Digicel. They are advertising this BlackBerry just for the, the phones that can connect you on the Internet and the social network. So, you know, here in Jamaica, we're really in tune to the fact that people are accessing the Internet on their mobile devices. And so I think that the mobile device is going to get more and more popular in Jamaica as a way to access the internet, but I know the internet internet users are growing here really quickly. So more and more people are going to um, have the internet in their home and laptops in their home, especially as the services become more and more popular. Right? We're seeing a lot more advertising in the last year here mm-hmm. um, with the 4G and the wireless modems that you can you can get for the laptops now and the wireless for the home. So it's it's becoming more and more popular and it's growing really quickly. So tell me, Alicia, what are the skill set, attitude, discipline you need to bring to really exploit this internet wealth opportunity? Yeah, absolutely. The skill set is a desire to make money, right? If you want to make (laughs) some extra money, then, you know, you need to spend the time educating yourself on how to build your business and build it right. Because when we're looking at working on the internet, we're, we're really looking at an opportunity to build a business, right? This is an opportunity to build a business. So, you know, I'm an internet entrepreneur. I travel with my laptop where my laptop is, is, is where I make money. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, I really have to have self-discipline. And, you know, when I, I know that the more time I put into my work, the better I'll do. The more efforts and the more marketing I, I put into it, the better I'll do. But, you know, we have people that we've seen that are 17 years old um, doing really well. In fact, the young people do a lot well a lot faster than um, older people do sometimes. So, you know, we really encourage young people to look at the opportunities. And then we have a lady, um, one of our students, her name is Mavis Cox, and she is 92 years old, and she has an ebook on sewing. And she's making money every month off of that ebook on sewing, and she just had the desire to do something. She loves sewing. She gets on the phone once a week with um, all the people who bought from her and just gives them some sewing tips. And I don't know what you can talk about about sewing um, on the phone on a teleseminar, but she does it. So it's just the desire to mm-hmm. really want to make some extra income on the internet, but also treat it as a business. This so- is your business. And you know, once you see, of course, that extra income coming in, you'll get more and more serious so, so, about So, Alicia, that. if I want to start, suppose I have an idea. I'm out in, in, in northern Jamaica then, or the western side, okay. and I visit a lot of exotic areas, and I take my... So, I have, I have pictures of places that people would want to see, of caves and inside of caves and rock formations, yep. and I want to make money from that. I have internet access. I have a laptop computer. What do I do? Yep. to start the ball rolling. The first thing that I would tell you to do is go to a place called iStockPhotos.com, and, or you could Google any stock photo sites. And what these sites do is they will buy your photos from you and pay you a commission every time someone downloads it. So, for example, I was designing a web page last night, and I needed some stock photos. So I went on a stock photo website, and I bought some photos and downloaded them. And so there are people that are making a lot of money just I mean, that was a great example, right? There are people making a lot of money just taking photographs that other people would buy. It's all managed by a site, a site that gets a lot of traffic. I go to those sites, buy photos, and you get paid for it. So that's a really good example, and you can make money just taking photos. People are asking, so how do you set up the the backroom transactions so you actually get the cash? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a few different ways. If you're going to go through a site like Fiverr.com or Elance.com, they collect the money for you, and then they pay you. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can get paid. PayPal.com is a popular way, and um, a lot of people in Jamaica have PayPal accounts. Or some of those sites will send you a check in the mail, or you you have to make arrangements with the site as far as what they will do. Um, But you can also set up your own website and set up your own payment processing, which is usually through, it's always through like a third-party payment processor, so you can set up a merchant account. Sometimes the banks here in Jamaica will have different, what we call virtual terminals, so that you can collect money and it will come into your bank account. Um, Or PayPal.com is actually the easiest way to get 
set up. There are some limitations being here in Jamaica using PayPal, but, you know, we, we teach people how to overcome those limitations. But really, you know, we're even teaching people right now how you can wedi- register a website and go live on the Internet for less than $3. Mm-hmm. And so we teach people how you can register your website, host it, you know, get it live on the Internet, design it, find free designs on the Internet, and um, a really simple back office tool to develop your whole website for less than $3. So it's very, very affordable now. You don't have to pay web designers hundreds and thousands of dollars, you know, I'm talking U.S. dollars, to build websites anymore. You can spend three U.S. dollars and get your website online. Mm. So, of course, I'm thinking of sites based on the ads that I would have seen, like godaddy.com that offers to, to build sites cheap. You th- facilities like those you're talking about? Yeah. Well, there's one site called cheapcheapdomainnames.com. It's backed by GoDaddy, but it's a site where you can um, buy domains even cheaper. So you can buy a domain name there for it's, uh, like $1.99 to $2.99 instead of the usual $10.00 and it's a .info domain name. And then you can go to a place called Get Gator Hosting. And this is the kind of stuff we do in our workshop, but you know, with a special coupon code, you can get hosting for a penny. And so you know, just by knowing the, the things that you can do to, to get set up the cheapest, you know, that's kind of what me and my sister have spent a lot of time trying to really figure out what's the best way to do it that people can get set up as cheaply as possible so that they can start to build their business without having to put out a lot of money. You know, if you want to if you want to start a business and you're talking about a retail store, how much would it cost guys to start a retail store here, you know, in Jamaica? You have to pay for your inventory and your rent and the store setup yes. and your staff and security, right? So yes. we're talking about setting up a business for $3. Hmm. You, you know, the, 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 the proliferation and the expansion in, in smartphone technology, yep. meaning that you can be away from your computer, your laptop, you have your iPhone or your BlackBerry, and you can still transact business. That really has helped to boost the, the level of online business and people getting involved in that kind of thing, right? That has. I mean, I have my iPhone here, and you know, I'm, I live in New Orleans, Louisiana, but as I'm here in my hotel room, I have Wi-Fi, and I am checking email on my iPhone. I have digital roaming, so while I'm out of my hotel, I'm checking email. You know, one of the things that you can even do on smartphones now is collect money. So you, there is a application, so if you're on the, I think it's the Android, the iPhone. Yes, the Android platform. Yeah, there's um, uh, an application called Square just have to enter in the person's email address so they get sent a receipt saying at this time you're at this location and you paid this person for this product so it's uh technology is just absolutely amazing and we can con- you know conduct business so easy if we just have the right tools and resources to do it yeah. mm. so when will you be in jamaica alicia yeah well i'm here now <laughs> i'm here now and i'm getting ready for a workshop that we're doing this weekend so we're doing a workshop but what I would like to tell people is that I'm doing an introductory session. So I just want to, you know, get people to come and learn some more. So I'm doing two introductory sessions, and I'm going to give you a phone number. Is that okay, guys, if I give sure. everyone sure. a phone Sure, go number ahead. To find out more? Go ahead. So they can call 946-1361. Uh, that's 946-1361. And that's the gift office and here in New Kingston. And they can just find out more about the introductory sessions we're having. But we're actually having two, and the first is hoping to get as many people in as possible and really explaining this a little bit more. You know, we'll have a little bit more time, can answer some questions, and really get people starting to think about what the opportunities are um, that they haven't. Thanks very much, Elisa yeah. Little. Yeah. It's one of the most rewarding segments we've had for a long time. Very for much a so. lot of people. Yes. Thank you. Good, good. All right. All the best. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.